Hi, this is JP from Now The Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another episode of the Arkham Horror LCG campaign playthrough and we are continuing the Dark Matter fan-made campaign. Uh, we are up to the fourth scenario or if you plan to play the uh, scenario 3, A, B and C in different order, this might be the third or fifth depending on which order you go. I'm going A, B, C, so this is the 3B scenario, so the fourth one. Uh, last time we got two experience only because of the uh, stupid cowardice weakness we have in our deck. So I only had two experience to upgrade my deck, so let's first look at the upgrades I did to the deck. Okay, so we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and uh, the only upgrade I did to the deck was to upgrade or add a backpack level 2 into the deck. This helps me to find my uh, holy rosaries, um, dragon pole uh, and other items I might need uh, faster. If I don't draw them and I draw this, then this helps me to find those cards and saves up hand slots if I don't have to play them immediately. Uh, to make room for that card, I removed one daring because, uh, as far as uh, this, uh, in the first three scenarios, I haven't played this uh, once. I think so. It seems like a good one to cut for the backpack. So <clears throat> that is all the upgrades I did to the, this deck. So I'm hoping to get a bit more experience out of this scenario. So let's hop back over to the scenario. Okay, so we are set up here, so I have uh, set up the scenario according to the instructions. We have the feaster of, from afar set aside, because we don't have three tally marks in our impending doom yet. We only have one. Um, to remind uh, you, I have two uh, memories uh, tally marked in my campaign log. In the setup, we have set up this evidence deck here so they are story cards with um, encounter card back so those are in play the one of those the top card of those when after shuffling is put underneath the uh, reference card here and uh, we have a scanning deck and then we have this uh, nostalgia 2 spaceship here but First, let's read some story text so you get a bit more better um, understanding what, what are we doing here. So, first I read the trace 2. So, true analysis of the archives has revealed, uh, I mean, thorough analysis of the archives has revealed evidence of hacking into the mainframe of the Earth survey vessel named the Nostalgia 2, and several references to a quarantine and to Trust no one. If you can establish contact with the crew, maybe you can figure out what the cultists were looking for. So, we are in the shadow of the scenario. So, let's read the story text from the start here. So, not that much story text. So, in the middle of the 21st century, Earth was in complete chaos. Rioting, crime, madness and worse had become the order of the day for the entire world. In a last-ditch effort, uh, two of the arcs were completed and the third vessel was stripped for parts. The two completed vessels set out for Mars, each carrying 3,000 humans in suspended animation. One vessel, the Liberty, suffered a massive power plant failure and the crew and passengers were killed. The other ship, Hope, eventually reached Mars. Uh, Mars. The planet Earth, what used to be humanity's sanctuary, is now abandoned into madness of the ancient ones. There is very little information of what remains on the uh, on Earth, but if anyone would attempt to send a, out a transmission survey, vessels and stations around the planet, such as the Nostalgia 2, would hear those calls. The trip itself was uneventful, and you spent your days watching the blue dot of Earth grow and grow in size. Around the time you can finally recognize a few of the continents, the Tatardemalian picks up a lonely and distant beat, the echo of the Nostalgia 2's distress beacon. You try to hail the crew with your radios, but there is no response. The Tatardemalian begins its de 
exploration and, with no time to waste, you prepare to board the godforsaken ship. Okay, well, uh, there are some ru extra rules <coughs> in this scenario, so cards removed from the game. In this scenario, you must keep track of cards that are removed from the game. Put any cards removed from the game in an area or out of play that is still accessible. Motion scanning. In this scenario, the scan action designator functions slightly differently. You may only scan when you are at a location with an icon matching the top card of the scanning deck. When you scan, instead of searching for the topmost card of the scanning deck matching the icon you are scanning for, simply draw the top card of the scanning deck. As such, you will have to move around the ship and follow the icons depicted on the top card of the scanning deck. So, um, if we would have had uh, three tally marks in the impending doom, we would have put one more evidence card underneath the scenario reference card. So, I think we are in good time here, so we only have one. And uh, let's read the agenda. A nostalgia too. You carefully enter the ship's uh, ship through the airlocks of the Nostalgia 2. It is eerily silent at, uh, other than the occasional clanging and hiss of the air circulation. Action scan. If the topmost car card of the scanning deck has an icon matching your current location, spend uh, one clue per investigator as crew. Draw the top card of the scanning deck. Pause. When a crew story asset is defeated or discarded, remove it from the game. Then we have Act 1. Is anyone home? There is no one to greet you, no responses to your calls. But despite the silence, your motion scanner occasionally displays a few blips of movement coming from within the ship. Objective, when you draw a story asset from the scanning deck, advance. Okay. Well, that is the setup for this scenario, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, uh, we are ready to begin. I think I'll go over the different icons now that we have all of them in the bag. So X is half the amount of damage on you and assets you control rounded down. Uh, Cultist is a minus two. If you fail, deal one damage or one horror to an ally asset you control. Uh, tablet is a reveal another token. If you fail, take one damage and one horror. And uh, Elder Thing token is a zero. You must either choose one, take two damage or this Test automatically fails. Okay, well, I think we need a lot of damage soak here. So let's draw our opening hand of five cards. So one, two, three, four, five. We get power, uh, promise of power that we shuffle six cents, dodge, talisman of protection, and the top twilight blade. Mm. I really don't see me using the Twilight Blade or the Talisman of Protection right at the beginning. Six Sense is also a bit of a dud before we get our um, will power up. Well, I'll keep these three and I'll draw two more cards, another Six Sense and Guard. So not a good start with the cards, but it is what it is. So we'll shuffle these back into my deck. Didn't draw a weapon, which is bad. Well, we drew the Twilight Blade, but that's not really a weapon. <laughs> it's just to get the cards underneath me. And uh, when I have a high willpower, that becomes a good stabbing tool. But uh, yeah, well, we'll see how this... Uh, Progresses, so we'll do a good, good shuffle for the deck after the mulligan and hope to draw a weapon soon enough. Okay, well, uh, first action, we will go ahead and play the guard dog. Just to have some buff. Uh, I'll do... Um, so, uh, we need to go to uh, red square which is at the engine room here and either 
the infirmary to scan, but we need clues before that. So uh, the airlocks has one shot, two clues, fast trigger ability, get to the tattered demalion, and a crew story. I set you control to the victor display. Action resign. You should have never come here. Uh, remove all crew story assets you control from the game. So we could just resign, but what's the fun in that? So we uh, second action will get a resource. A last action we will play uh, the six cents and hope to get some cancels going and uh, get to investigating next round. So we can scan for free here. So. That is our turn, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, drawn to the flame, I might just grab these two clues here, and we gain a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom to the agenda, the doom threshold is 3, first encounter card of the game is uh, the colors of space, hazard, revelation, test, willpower 3, if you fail put this card in play in your threat area. You must commit all eligible skill cards in your hand to skill test performed at your location. Action, take one horror, discard the color of, color of space. So I'm actually immediately using the promise of power to just get rid of this one. And I'll add one curse token to the back. Uh, we are testing... Uh, Five versus three. Cultist is a minus two. If you fail, deal one damage to uh, or horror to an ally asset you control. So we pass. We don't have to put this in our threat area. Uh, first action. I'm going to take a bit of a risk here and keep up the. Well, uh, yeah, I, I think I'll save the drone to the flame for a high draw location. So, I will just investigate using my intellect, so 3 versus 1, cultist minus 2, uh, we get one clue, I'll just investigate again, uh, 3 versus 1, auto fail, and I'll investigate the third time, 3 versus 1, minus 1. So we grab the second clue also. So now we can start moving towards the locations we can scan in. But that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw virtual access key and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom to the agenda. Encounter card to this round is rats question mark. One fight, one health and three evade hunter. Uh, forced after you defeat rats question mark draw the top card of the encounter deck okay well uh, those are a bit different than the usual rats we have uh, learned to know in arkham horror so these are engaged with me well uh first action i think i'll hmm I think I'll have to de just defeat them. I could play the dodge, move and play the dodge to get one. I, I think I'll actually do that. No, we'll just defeat the rats. So three, we'll punch the rats with our fists. So three versus one. Auto fail. Uh, okay, we punch again. Three versus one. So we are not starting with good pulls in this game. Minus three, we miss again. <laughs> we have to hit again. Three versus one. Uh, Elder sign. Well, it's a plus two, and uh, we don't have any cards underneath Diana, so we just punch the rats, uh, which is a bit bad thing to have done at our last action. So we draw the top card of the encounter deck, and it is perfect imitation. Put perfect imitation you play in your threat area. When you draw a mimic enemy while you control an ally, ally asset, test willpower 4. If you fail, discard this card and an ally asset you control. Okay, well, <clears throat> that, that's bad. Hopefully we can build up our willpower before we need to test that. So, we ready up. We draw machete. Well, at least we have a weapon now and we gain a resource. 
So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom, so the agenda advances. We are not progressing as fast as I would like. So, in the open, you were not prepared to hear the horrible ear-piercing roar of the disembodied cries. You motion scanner bleeps uncontrollably. There is biological movement detected in every direction. Whatever, thi whatever thing that has corrupted this ship has finally noticed your arrival. Shuffle the encounter, discard value to the upper deck. Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. Spawn that enemy at the ship mainframe. Okay. It could be another rat, but I don't like my chances. So we shuffle the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck and then we discard cars until we hit a minion uh, an enemy okay so well it's more rats well that that's at least those are not that threatening so they spawn in the ship's mainframe and uh, we cannot enter the ship's mainframe so that that is why these are like this uh, because it reads on the ship mainframe card. Okay, well, um, first action. I think I don't want to be here without a weapon, so I'll play the machete and start moving towards a place where I can scan. So, uh, I'll just move twice. So one, I'll move to the hydroponics, uh, three shroud location with two clues, uh, Fast action. If there are no clues on hydroponics and you have fewer than three sanity remaining, each investigator at this location adds uh, one tally mark next to the memory is probably once per game. So there's actually two clues here. So I think this is a good place to uh, play Drawn to the Flame. So uh, we Draw the top card of the encounter deck. Another. Whoa. Put this card into play next to the agenda deck. Pause. After an ally as it leaves play, place one doom on another. Whoa. And action test. Willpower 3 or agility 3. If you succeed, discard another. Whoa. Okay. Well, that didn't do anything at this moment, but we managed to get these clues. So. We'll go to the enemy face. The rats hunt, engage us and hit us for one damage. I'll actually play the dodge here. So, uh, this is the upgraded dodge, so cancel the attack. Then test um, agility one, if you succeed, deal one damage to that enemy. So this could actually kill the rats. Three versus one. Uh, it is a tablet. Reveal another token if you fail. Take one damage and one horror. And <laughs> it is the auto fail. So I fail, I'll take one damage and one horror. But this goes underneath Diana, so I draw a card. Well, unspeakable old cowardice. And I gain a resource. Well, that sucks. That sucks bad. But the rat's uh, attack is cancelled, and uh, I have to deal one damage and one horror to me. So I'll deal the horror here and damage here. And the rats stay engaged with me. Okay. So, uh, that is that, so we are ready up. Actually put this card on myself. So we draw a card, mine's eye, and we gain a resource. So, that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so the doom threshold is now 4. Encounter card for this round is scrambled, search. Revelation, shuffle the scanning deck. If the top card of the scanning deck has an icon matching your current location, take one damage. 
Well, uh, we are lucky that it doesn't. So we shuffle this and I try to not look at the card so I don't see what the top card is when I quit scanning so I quit. Now. Okay, so we have the T shape and the um, hourglass shapes. So the hourglass shape is here and the T shape is the fight deck. I think we'll head to the fight deck. There must be something important there. So it searches. It is contamination. Revelation that's contaminated to an ally asset you control. Uh, ally asset at your location. Unique if possible. Force at the end of the round you must either choose one discard attach ally or place one doom on it. Well, uh, that sucks because I really like my guard dog. And after an ally has at least play, place one doom on another's bow, so that also gets a doom, which is bad. Well, I think I'll start by hitting the rats with a machete. So I'm hitting 4 versus 1. It is a plus 1, so the rats are defeated. Uh, we draw the top card of the encounter deck. Uh, scrambled, so we do this again. So again we are not uh, on a location with the... Uh, which was the top card of the scanning deck. So we shuffle, 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 shuffle and stop. So now actually we can sc uh, scan here, which helps. Mm, uh, second action. I think I will uh, try to do the willpower test there to get rid of that. So I'm committing the virtual access key to that. Uh, and uh, I could have done this better. Could have just uh, taken the attack of opportunity. So uh, let's actually back up. Because it's stupid to... Well, uh, we didn't know what's gonna happen. So we're just testing and we are testing 5 versus 3 on the willpower. Minus 1. Uh, we get rid of this one. Uh, we'll do the scanning. So we will scan this. It is an untamed tanner. Revelation, put this card into play under your control. When an enemy spawns at your location, you automatically evade it. Group limit once per game. Well, that's actually good because um, we can then uh, try to evade it again to get rid of the unspeakable oath. Okay, and we actually will draw a card for doing the scanning. So another card talk. So we. That, that worked out well. So we had to spend one clue to scan. And now uh, we need to go to engine room or crew quarters. Okay, so we'll go to crew quarters for next round. Crew quarters, uh, three shroud, two clues. After you discover the last clue from this location, each investigator at this location gains two resources to limit once per game. Oh yeah, uh, before all of that we had to advance. In hiding, one of the crew members stumbles out in fear. Thank god someone is here to help. I heard your calls but was too scared to answer. There's something else with, with us on the ship. It's already taken some of the crew but not all of us. I don't know who to trust. The, they describe an abomination that has been corrupting and consuming all biological and electronic mass on the ship. The entity is able to take on the form of the bodies and equipment it consumes, becoming a perfect imitation of the original. When it all went downhill, the Nostalgia 2 en enacted a rudimentary quarantine procedure and the crew have been hiding throughout the ship, waiting for help ever since. You can lead the helpless crew members back to safety of the Tatarumalian, but if it is true that this abomination is able to 
Great perfect imitations. How uh, would you know if they are truly human? Reveal the ship mainframe location. Advance to Act 2A. So we actually take that action back. I think we want to go visit the crew, crew mainframe before we do anything else. I'll read the crew mainframe. So ship or the ship mainframe. So four shrouds, uh, two clues. Action parlay. Investigators at this location spend one clues as a group. Draw the top card of the evidence deck and read it. So uh, we have this evidence deck here. So one card that is underneath here must be the bad guy. So there is that. So uh, last action, I will move to the ship mainframe. Next turn, I'll do some parlaying to narrow down the suspects. Okay, so last action, we'll move to the ship mainframe. And at the end of the round, <coughs> unfortunately, you must either choose one discard an alias here or place one doom on it. So we don't want to place any doom on it because uh, it would it actually won't advance the agenda next round. So we'll just keep the card dog around for one more turn and add one doom on it. So uh, we ready up. We draw vicious blow and gain a resource. So that is that round. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Let's read the Act 2A. Save our souls. There are still people hiding on board, among other things. Try to find as many of the Nostalgia 2's crew as you can and escape, but beware. Some of the crew may not be who they say they are. Objective if each undefeated investigator has resigned. Resolution 1. Hint. Uh, bringing an imitation aboard the Tatter Domain will have severe consequences, so we don't want to save a a uh, crew member that is not what they say they are. Okay, so that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom and counter card for this round is <laughs> again rats. So these are automatically evaded because uh, Adam Tanner. So this is group limit once per game. So that has been used. And these uh, rats spawn here at the mainframe. So I will actually try to evade them to get rid of the unspeakable oath. So use only on an exhausted unengaged enemy at your location if you succeed this card, this card from your hand. So, uh, we will try to t test this, so I need something good, so I'll, I'll try that multiple times to get rid of this uh, stupid weakness. So, 3 versus 3, minus 2, we fail. Second action, we'll do the same thing. Zero! Uh, we actually get rid of this stupid weakness, so now we don't lose any experience. And last action, we'll just um, kill off the rats, hitting with, it, with the machete. Minus one, we kill off the rats, but we still draw the encounter card for uh, killing the rats, so that that's annoying. So another swallow. <laughs> well, that sucks. Nothing we can do. We are advancing next round. So no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card. Dark insight. We could have used that in the, on the previous turn, but it is what it is. Then. We gain a resource, and at the end of the round, we will just. We are advancing, so we're at a doom onto the guard dog. And not. Because uh, we either add the doom here, which will advance, so we add it to the guard dog, so we still are advancing. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so the agenda advances. 
Um, let's see. Okay. The Lost. You have come to understand that whatever plague has struck upon Earth has been transmitted to the ship as well. Perhaps the ship was too close to Earth's atmosphere, or perhaps a crew member had accidentally watched one or too many of the undecipherable and corrupting transmissions from Earth. Whatever the in invisible corruption is, it has begun to affect you as well. For every time you blink, you see visions of the hell left behind on Earth. Masses of flesh appear around you, sculpting into the shapes of people you once knew. In play order, each investigator must test willpower 3. In your campaign log, for each investigator who fails, record that the investigator's name has been corrupted by the Earth. So, uh, we have a willpower of 2. And... Uh, I could use the mine side and the guard dog to go to four. I'll try to pass this. So four versus three. Four versus three. Minus one, so we pass, so we don't have to mark anything with the camp lock, but we lose the other guard dog, which would have been a good replacement once we have to get rid of this one. Okay. We still need to draw an encounter card but before that let's read scream of the dead uh, if you stay too long on this ship there is no doubt that sooner or later the abomination will come for you to action scan if the top card of the scanning deck has an icon matching your current location spend one clue as proof uh, it is the same rest of the text so i'm not reading it again okay we still draw an encounter card for this round it is corrupted machine spawn location with the most clues. So this location and action parlay test um, test willpower three. If you succeed, discard corrupted machine. If you fail, immediately it immediately attacks you. Okay, so we could hit it for four against four. Okay, I'm playing the dark inside. So this gets shuffled back into the encounter deck. This goes here. And we gain our one resource and draw a card. So defiance, that's actually good. So we shuffle this back into the encounter deck and don't draw a new one. And that also brings our willpower to so that, that's good. We could try to get rid of the another wall now. Okay, well, that is the uh, meta space done. So let's start figuring out who are who they say they are. So first action, we will do the parlay and spend for clue. Look at the top card of this. Uh, Deck. So, evidence, Captain Burr. Exploration on the ship's log determined that it was the captain of the Nostalgia 2, Earl Arnold Burr, who initiated the quarantine when the threat first emerged. Uh, knowing that the captain must have been at an access point when the order was set, set and that the hatches leading to the possible access points have not been opened since then, you deduce that the captain must still be human. Captain Burr is not an imitation. Put this card into play next to the act deck. So I'll just pile these over here. So we know Captain Burr is not the imitation, so we'll do another pile here. There is no limit how many times a turn you can do that, so we'll flip another one. Uh, evidence MUD12 Mudbuck. Although the medical robot Mudbug is not fully sentient, whatever is corrupting the vessel could still have infected its systems and infiltrate aboard your ship. Thankfully, the Nostalgia 2's central mainframe antivirus programs are able to confirm that none of the medical robot systems have been corrupted. MRD12 Mudbug is not an imitation. Put this card next to the uh, 
hack deck. So there's actually, I forgot to read. Forced. After you draw Captain Burr, story asset from the scanning deck, draw the top card of the encounter deck, and this has the same for Mark Park. And I'll do a third one. So we scan uh, Dr. Feng. Well, that is not who we have. So when you are finally able to access the video recordings from the infirmary, you discover the gnarly event events that led up to the car. Quarantine. Dr. Feng has been uh, treating an unknown eye infection in one of the technicals. Uh, he has the first to no He was the first to notice that the corruption also took root in some of the medical tools used to examine the poor technician. This provided that the whatever was corrupting the ship could also affect electronic equipment as well. Thankfully, the video was able to confirm that the doctor was wearing protective gear and has been hiding in the nearby compartment ever since. So Dr. Feng is not an imitation, put this card next to the act deck. Of course, after you draw the Dr. Feng story asset, draw top card of the encounter deck. So that was our whole turn. Uh, we add one doom to this guy. At the end of the round, we draw a card. It is daring and we gain a resource. That is that round. Uh, let's go to the next round. We add a doom. Three of... Uh, two of three. Encounter card for this round is from the dark. Revelation test agility three. Reduce the difficulty of this test by one for each card in the scanning deck. Uh, if you fail, to either take one damage for each point you fail by, or search the encounter deck and discard part of the mimic enemy and draw it. Uh, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five cards in the scanning deck, so it is difficulty one. So I'm testing uh, three versus one. It is zero, so we pass. Good thing, because we have this for the Mimic. But uh, we are out of clues. Um, I think I will try a 4 versus 4. And say... I say... Cultist, and I'm uh, doing using the sixth sense so cultist, and uh, we pull the elder sign so plus two, so we uh, pass. We get to I'll pick this one to grab from underneath me and put this instead. We draw a card, deny existence, and we gain a resource. That's great. We got one clue here, and uh, second action I am. Uh, doing another parlay. Sophie. So, uh, with the mainframe's help, you track down the source of the ship's distress call. An engineer that has been fixing ventilation problems and who has been stuck in the maintenance uh, areas of the ship ever since her partner mysteriously disappeared during the initial outbreak. She was able to send out a distress beacon by hacking into the comms system. You not you not you note that it was impossible for the computation to reach her while she was in the maintenance area so Sophie is not an imitation okay so we have one more card hoping that it's uh, Adam Tanner or, or Adam is a bad guy but um, we'll try to investigate again no the last action will actually draw a card Holy Rosary. That helps next round. So, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw another card, draw onto the flame, and gain a resource. At the end of the round, now I think it is time for the guard dog to go away. So, we add one doom there. And uh, so that we won't ad advance next round. So. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so three of uh, three, so we advance. So again, I have just kept it on the dog, but it is what it is. 
Okay, so we advance. Hunger. If there are still cards remaining in the scanning deck, another unintelligible scream sounds throughout the nostalgia too. Uh, trembling your ears with force, the abominations of Earth is closing up in its next prey. Shuffle the scanning deck and remove the top card of the scanning deck from the game. If it is the piece of from a bar, spawn it the lead investigator's location. It is not in there. Uh, flip this agenda back to agenda 3A. So we shuffle, and I'm going to remove the bottom card, so I can't see what it is yet. So we have removed this one, and this is our designated out of play area, next to the victory display there. Okay. So, um, we draw the encounter card. Contamination. Uh, that's contamination to ally asset at the location. I am going to cancel that. So we'll put this here. We draw a card. We gain a resource. And this goes away. We don't want to have this uh, crew asset contaminated. Now we have a willpower of four. And first action, I will play Holy Rosary to go to willpower five. And I will commit Mind's Eye to the test. So we are uh, investigating 6 versus 4. Minus 1. We pass. And last action we do the parlay. So. Okay. <laughs> well, that's funny. Evidence, uh, Lieutenant Archer Mi Michaels. So, uh, all of firearms aboard the Nostalgia 2 are continuously monitored by the ship's mainframe. The high tech weapons also provide biometric information on their wielders while they are in their hands. Without too much hassle, you were able to determine that the lieutenant of the ship has not been consumed and imitated by the entity. Notable be notably because they have been holding on to the handgun the entire time. Lieutenant Archer and Michael is not an imitation, so now we can deduct that actually we have the imitation uh, with us, which is quite quite entertaining. So we just won't let uh, Adam Tanner into the ship. So uh, everything we can do here has been done. So we'll go to upkeep. We draw vicious blow and gain a resource and. Uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a Doom. And counter card for this round is... Perfect Imitation. So, we have two of these now. That's bad. We don't have anything to cancel that with, but it is what it is. So, first action. Uh, we will move to the crew quarters. It is actually the place we can scan in. There are... Uh, two clues here, and we already saw that the last when the last clue of the location has been uh, discovered, we gain two resources. Well, that that is not that important at the moment. Uh, we'll play drawn to the flame here. We draw the top card of the encounter deck. <laughs> it is a mimic. Mimic gains the trace of the topmost ally asset on your discard pile. It is a doggy. Ally creature, so it is an ally. Uh, no, it's a creature. Okay, so Mimic deals additional horror equal to the sanity value of the top most ally asset in your discard pile. So we probably want to kill this off immediately. So, when you draw a Mimic enemy while you control an ally asset, test will pop or if you fail, discard this card and an ally asset to control. So we test willpower 4, we are at willpower 5. Not even. Well, we pass. Okay, and we have to test again because we have two of those. 
uh, zero, you must either choose one take, two damage, or this test automatically fails, so we don't actually care. So we discard an ally asset we control, which is Adam Tanner, which is the traitor. Okay, so now I have to see if... Uh, when a crew story asset is defeated or discarded, remove it from the game. So Adam Tanner is removed from the game. And this comes here and uh, it has horror value of 2, but we will, as a last action, hit it with the machete. And I'm committing both of the vicious blows to the test. I am fighting uh, 3, 4, 5, 6 versus 3. Dealing plus two, uh, 3 damage. Uh, skull is half the amount of damage on you and assets you control. Well, it is zero, so this is defeated. And that is that. But we get these two, we got these two clues. And we can do a free scanning now. So I'll do a free scanning and we get Captain Burr. Uh, put this card into play under your control. Captain Burr may be assigned direct damage and direct for dealt to any investigator and ally asset. At your location. Nice. And actually we added one doom here. And uh, we draw a card from the uh, scanning. Yes, so that is our turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card. Steadfast, gain a resource. And that is that round. Uh, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so the agenda unfortunately again advances. And we already know what's gonna happen. So put the top card of the evidence deck. Uh, no, if the scanning deck and yeah, if there's there are still cards in the scanning deck, so shuffle the scanning deck and remove the top card of the scanning deck from the game, and this returns like so. So we have already lost three crew members. So we shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> sorry. So this goes away, and we still have these two. Okay, well. I'm immediately going to scan here, so we get, oh yeah, yeah, we have to, we had to spend one clue to scan and we'll spend another to scan again here, and we get Sophie, I'm putting Sophie into my ally slot for now, so uh, we draw a card, we get dodge, we have one, two, three, four, five, six cards in hand, I think I want to get rid of this one. It is making my life miserable at the moment, so I'm using Steadfast to get be sure to get rid of it. Oh yeah, I, I still... Uh, I will have to back up a bit because I forgot to draw an encounter card this round. So we haven't scanned yet, so we get a Corrupted Machine. Oh well, uh, first action we will actually fight this guy. No. Yeah, we'll yeah we'll fight. First action we use the daring. So we are fighting uh, seven versus four. It is the elder sign again. So this is defeated. We take this card into our hand and uh, then we'll do this test using steadfast and uh, I'll actually commit defiance and say it is the coldest so 
we are uh, have two cards here. Okay, so yeah, we do the scanning. Three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, versus three. It is the skull, so we pass. This goes here. We draw a card, gain a resource. For cancelling stuff, this goes away. Uh, we do the scanning now, so we get Sophie. We draw another card. Uh, power of... The uh, promise of power. This, uh, we still need to find two more uh, survivors here. Last action, uh, we will move to the engine room because there is a scanning next to there. So, three shroud, one clue. And action deal two damage to an investigator and enemy at this location. Gain two clues from the token bank. Limit once per round. So I think we want to investigate. Okay, so that is that round. We go to the upkeep. We draw Ward of Protection and gain a resource. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Oh yeah, and I forgot to use the clue last round. For scanning. Okay, so we add a Doom. Encounter part of this round is... Colors of space. That's still about three. I'm just testing it. I'm actually not even testing it. I will cancel it. Uh, I'll use the ward of protection. I'll take one horror. So I have four horror. And I draw a card. And gain a resource. Okay, that's that. So, yeah, this goes actually here. So we have a willpower of uh, three, four, five, uh, one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we will use the six cents to investigate. Minus three. Uh, we grab this clue, and uh, we will. Scan here. So we find the medical robot. I'll just put it over here. And that was actually the last card in the scanning deck. So I think there's nothing else to do but go up and up. So I think uh, we could go and check out the Reach and see if there's any victory point locations. But I think I'm happy with this. So we get one, two, three, four experience. Uh, if this advances, we put. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot to draw encounter cards when I reveal these. So I'll just do a bunch now. So. Pale blue pl planet. Uh, that's pale blue dot on your current location. So we attach it here. We take one horror or add one doom on the current agenda. We'll do another one. So this searches. Okay, we'll just put another one here. And we'll do one more because we have found three guys here. So hopeless. So actually, <clears throat> let's put one, well, let's commit to this, so... Hopeless, put Hopeless into play in your threat area, force when the agenda advances, discard Hopeless and this will about three if you fail. Take one horror for each crew story asset, okay. Well, I think we just leave now, so we have four, I'll take both on myself. So I have six. No. I'll take one here and uh, one here. 
So we do move, move, then we do fast actions and these guys are sent to the ship. So go uh, head to the Tattered Demalion. So these are in the victor display. Next to these who are removed from the game. And we uh, have no more action, so we'll go to upkeep, we draw a card, dev deny existence, and we gain a resource. So, unfortunately, I messed up with uh, forgetting that I have to, when I reveal those, I have to pull and count the cards. But I pulled three now, so hopefully that covers it. <coughs> but it is what it is. So, uh, well, uh, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We had a doom, two of three, encounter card is Micrometeoroid. Uh, test agility three. If you fail, you must either choose one, take two damage, or discard an event in all events in your hand. So I'm just testing three versus three. I fail, I'll use deny existence and not discard anything. So this goes here. And uh, I will uh, resign first action. Okay, well, we get resolution one. Uh, resolution one, you barely made it out of the madness alive, madhouse alive. The horrors you've seen of what remains of the crew is almost too much for you to handle. If there are no crew stories as assets in the victory display, proceed to uh, resolution 5. If there are crew story assets in the victory display, look at the story card that are underneath scenario reference card, uh, but do not read them. For each of the story cards, reveal one random chaos token from the chaos bag. If it is not an uh, elder sign, bless, plus one or zero token, the crew story asset co corresponding to the story card in is an imitation of the entity. So it is the Adam Tanner, so it is not in the victor display. So we deducted <laughs> it correctly. So if any of the crew story assets uh, that our imitations are in the victory display, proceed to resolution 2, but none of the crew story assets that our imitations are in the victory display, proceed to resolution 3. Uh, you manage to save some of the crew and they mourn the loss for several days. Thankfully, none of the crew members you have brought aboard was an imitation. Over time, they describe how the madness only began a few days after they decoded a transmission from Earth, a cryptic poem. Let the Red Dawn surmise what we shall do when this blue starlight dies and all is thorough. All is true. Uh, you believe this poem must be what the cultists were after, but it is meaningless to you and doesn't help you uncover the coordinates of fragment. You finally de deliver the remaining crew to a service station in the Martian orbit and the survivors thank you once more for saving them and bid farewell. Despite all, you must leave this behind you and look forward towards another lead. Record in your camp log that you have rescued the remaining crew of Nostalgia 2. Uh, add one tally mark under Impending Doom in your camp log. Then add one additional tally mark for every two crew story assets removed from the game. So we removed three story assets, so we are at three tally marks in the Impending Doom. Uh, so, for every two crew story assets removed from the game, attached to the entity or in the scanning deck. So, each investigator earns experience equal to the victory axe value of each card in the victory display. So, it is four as we counted earlier. Return to the search for fragment on page 10. So, that was the in the shadow of Earth scenario. We only have one more to go and it is, it is the scenario 3 C strange moons and after that we go to scenario 4 so we have three scenario 3s as I already said earlier so that was in the shadow of earth scenario with Diana Stanley we got half of the crew saved so it could have gone better but it 
could have gone a lot worse. But hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.